Greetings, and welcome to a little tiny news item. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we're looking at a game called Hotel Magnate. Now, I found out about this game from the good people at Critivo, who are publishing this game, by the way. And uh, they said, hey, check out our game. We think that you and your um, subscribers might like it. And I'm like, oh, OK, let me check it out. So I looked at the page and I'm like, OK, let's look at this. So um, it, first of all, it is created by um, an Australian team uh, based in Sydney over here. There's more information at the bottom of the page and uh, published by Critivo, who also brought us Universe Sim and all kinds of other fun games. So uh, I looked at the video and we're going to go through this video first because I think that's going to be kind of fun. Do you have what it takes to be a hotel manager? Let me tell you. Look the at all the stuff. Industry wow. Is one gigantic garbage fire. And guess <laughs> the way the she talks about it. The whole show running. No. So where does one begin? <laughs> we respect our guests. It's we all love about them. Location. This is nice. How about a delightful area? seaside resort? Ooh. A humble hotel in the big city. Okay, city, city location. Nowhere. Desert. Start some woods. Okay. Once you've secured a suitable spot. It's time to build. Start oh, look at that. The, the curves. Oh, that's amazing. Desk, add some necessities, slap on a few decorations, and finish the job with a scenic patio. Nice. Painting your motel blue. Because that's always classy. However, that's only the beginning. Take a look at what you can eventually accomplish. We're talking about the creme de la creme, spanning a stunning pool area, exclusive restaurant and bar, a gym to work off those nice. extra calories, booming nightlife activities, a casino to take more of your guests' money, and a cozy corner for your patrons to retire to at the end of the day. Can someone please check if he's breathing? Yeah, and what's in the bag? Oi. Of course, there's always the possibility of disaster. It can strike from anywhere. Take this malfunctioning equipment, for example. Oops. Things can go from bad to worse in the mm. blink of an eye. Fortunately, oh dear. there's emergency equipment oh available for There's a bit of a fire there. No. Oh dear. Uh -huh. Oh dear. To oh, avoid please this help. Buckets of water. And keep your Look at them dancing by the stoves. <laughs> it's quite right funny. Staff. When it comes to maintenance, you need a professional touch. Good work, I suppose. Right. Once you've worked out the kinks, you will be the proud of the This is quite cool, though. Hotel very around. grand spaces here. Storage oh, room. A few miles. Nice. I wonder if that's necessary. Wow. Wow. Oh, dear. Call, call the fire department. No. <laughs> Okay, so we've watched the trailer. I have to say, we do have a bit of a demo to play. Um, right, so it's 59% funded with 12 days remaining. I'd like to go back through the video and talk about what I like about this game and what I kind of hope um, are going to be there. Now, we don't have any exact details yet, but we're going to see. I really like what I said before. The grand spaces are lots of big spaces. The building looks very much like The Sims. Let's see if we can fast forward a bit here uh, to different spots. Lots of different activities for the guests here. We didn't see anything about the financials, um, but I do know I've read the page and there are things about keeping things going. Look, there's um, there's some plants here. We've got these hedge walls and trees. That's quite nice for the outdoor stuff. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see. We can let's let me turn off the sound and just kind of go through it and um, see if I can see something I want to talk about. I like that there are many different locations. That's quite cool. Um, and it seems that, you know, you have different biomes and uh, be able to tailor the decorations to those different places. I like that part of it. The city thing is pretty darn cool. It might need like some optimization, maybe more vertical instead of more spread out. Like here in the middle of the woodlands, oh my God, you could just like, go on forever uh, with your um, with your hotel here. I like this. This is very Sims-like and oh my God, I played the Sims oh, through, through the Sims 4. I played oh, many, many thousands of hours. And one of the coolest things is this. This curved wall thing, that is fabulous. It's like, oh my God. And it seems quite easy to get stuff moving. You put the furniture down and get stuff organized. 
Now, one of the things that I hope for this game, and while I was watching this, I was like, oh my God, you know, how many rooms exactly are we going to have in our hotel? I don't know the scale of the game yet. So when I look at this, I'm like, okay, can we have a blueprint, please? Like, can we select, all right, I want this blueprint with these colors of walls, this bed, this shower thing, all this, and then stamp, 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 because... If you're going to have a hundred room hotel, I really don't want to decorate each one individually. That would be very annoying to me. Like the Sims, you couldn't really do stuff like that. I don't know about the new stuff, but anyway, um, this is kind of cool. The painting is nice. Um, we're going to check out the demo in a second. And, um, and uh, there are some really neat options that are shown there. Now, one of the, um, there's also a pool going on at some point. And I know in the, uh, there, there we go. Um, in the description of the Kickstarter, there is a stretch goal of a custom pool shape. So that's going to be kind of cool. But yeah, I don't know really the scale of the game. It's like how many rooms are you going to have in a hotel? This looks quite big, this here. This is massive. Um, yeah, and here we have a nice dining room and we've got a bar and uh, entertainment. And I'm really, I'm really curious about the economic sim portion of this game. Uh, because it seems like there's lots of stuff to take um, stock of because you have to have employees like we have a DJ here running the the music and we've got dancing and we have a casino. I know there's oh look at this. There's a um, uh, card table here, which obviously requires a dealer, which is another person that should have to be paid. Uh, later, it shows maintenance and stuff like that. And this poor, poor guy who we might, might think is slightly dead. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, it looks like people are having a good party time here. So, um, oh, oh yeah, here's the maintenance. Now this is something that I wonder about, like, do we hire people or do we have to click this to say, oh my God, go there. Like how much, uh, micromanagement is there going to be? But it looks like there's a maintenance person that d did come there eventually. I saw that somewhere anyway, but it looks kind of really interesting this game, but I love this. They're like grooving while they're cooking. It's like, yeah, yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. We're, we like this job. <laughs> so but it seems like really like a massive game. Like, you know, how much food production do we need? How much, how many people are we going to, yeah. How many machines do we need to take care of? It seems like a game with a ton of possibilities and look at the grand spaces that we have. We've got many doorways. We have wide open lobbies here and casino room. That's quite huge. Um, so it seems like you could grow your hotel to a very, very large extent with this game. Look at this, like a waiting area where people are talking. Oh, that's great. And then the whole hotel burning down. Oh my God. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So there is a link in the description below if you want to check out this game. Uh, it looks really interesting. Um, looks like estimated delivery is March 2020. And um so here we can see the different people we have here. Uh, let's see. And then and all the features and stuff like this. I'm not going to read all of this to you, but many locations we have. Oh, yeah. The city, beachside. Um, and then we have, what was the other one? Roadside retreat. Okay. So that's going to be the forest, I think. And then we have the building aspect of things. Where was it? Was it here? I don't know. I think it was the dancing of those, those people. So funny. But um, yeah, it's kind of cool, kind of interesting looking. So let's go ahead. I th oh, and then of course, all the rewards. Wow, there are many. And at the highest levels, we have many things. We've got full game, wallpapers, beta access, alpha access, soundtrack, art book, exclusive furniture set, ooh, golden statue, name a guest. Oh, I love the curly mustache on that guy. Folded poster, slippers, printed stickers pack, t-shirt, name a company, hotel magnate, bathrobe. Oh, that's quite tasty in-game statue bearing your name well then name a yacht design a painting design a guest after you uh design a challenge request furniture set location special message in the credits exclusive dev channel access oh nice influence design decisions that's of course the very highest levels but these obviously have different levels as you kind of go along some really interesting rewards sounds like a lot of fun anyway let's get on to the demo and um yeah see what we can do 
Now, this is a pre, 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 pre alpha. Just to kind of look at things, this has very few features, letting you know right now we can't save the game. We just can kind of go in there and play around just a little bit. This is basically kind of a building demo, and we can get to a look at some of the stuff close up here. Oh, this is a nice environment. I like this. All the trees. I really like this kind of like uh almost low poly art style there are it's it's nice it's it's kind of chunky kind of blocky really cute uh this is uh, looks like the um the forest setting obviously here we have some mountains in the background it's lovely i mean can you imagine just driving from this road like come out of the tunnel hey motel woohoo is there another tunnel on the other side let's see let's look yep yep tunnel to tunnel oh this is this is a lot of how um <laughs> a lot of how the west coast of Norway is where you like have these pockets of scenery everything is like this surprise every time you come out of a tunnel so let's surprise people with something cool here all right let's go ahead and make something uh we can do either furniture or building so let's start off with the building we do have controls here because they're not and remember this is pre 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 alpha and um this is very likely going to be streamlined in the final game uh, and even in early access as well so let's look at our walls we have let's see we have walls we have remove walls curve wall huh, curve walls nice paint floors paint walls we have windows and doors and stairs and elevators so we have two options one of which i don't think this one works does it does the rec I, I tried this a little bit earlier and it was not being cooperative so let's just do single walls and we're not going to actually build an entire thing here we're just going to build something oh, oh there we go there we go okay and let's just make something let's make it sort of square-ish there we go all right so we have a room we can maybe make maybe we should make a ah let's just let's try the curved walls now there are two different oh two different curves here we have we have a spline wall reticulating splines anybody remember that one anyway <laughs> let's just choose this and we can go say from there to there and then here is our curve adjustment here we can go way out our way in let's do an outward kind of bend here maybe like this man that looks kind of funky okay um and then i don't know maybe make another one over here do from there maybe make a smaller one there we go we'll just put it kind of in the middle of the wall have that go outward as well okay apply and let's paint our walls let's paint them because we, we don't want people coming in here oh my god hotel dungeon hello we don't want to do that at all so let's do paint walls uh here and we have all kinds of colors we can do an outside color we it looks like there are quite a few outside ones there's like bricky bits um and then they, we do have options there's wall section paint and then come complete room paint but those don't seem to work at the moment in this uh little thingy majingy so we're just gonna go with this i don't know if we should go with these or we have these kind of tiles. that's more like almost like bathroom tiles i think They're quite nice though i like them um but out out here in the woods shall we have a log cabin oh no this is properly loggy oh yes let's go with this okay we'll go with properly loggy cabin and i'm not going to paint the entire thing i have to click for every um thing but obviously we do have options in the future oh dear that's not not what i wanted <laughs> it's fine though um we do have options uh for other stuff uh that doesn't want to click you know what we're gonna leave it alone it's fine because this is just a pre 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 alpha demo um whoa that looks very black Okay, I don't really want black. Maybe blue? <gasps> Let's have blue. That looks quite, um, yeah, almost Tiffany blue. Quite nice. turquoise ish And then, of course, we want to have some kind of nice flooring in here. I'm just going to paint the sides we can see. We're going to ignore the sides we can't see at the moment <laughs> because we don't want to have click fest. All right. Um, yeah, let's do the floors. We have floor tiles uh, to be painted. Not as many options. What is this green stuff? this it's like oh it's like grass almost huh funky we have wood floors i kind of let's see what are these oh those look really nice i like those tiles these are funny those are more like maybe outdoor tiles can i oh did we build on the very edge i think we did i think we did but we could have like a patio these click and drag which is quite nice i like the click and drag part 
Okay, let's make a little patio out there. And what do we got here? We have linoleum-ish stuff. What is that? What? Mushrooms? <laughs> oh my god. And then these checkered floors. Oh, those are nice either for a grand entranceway. Um, or maybe a kitchen, depending on your proclivities. But I like that this tile, it's like sandstone tile. I was like, um, yeah, these kind of like hotel rooms you get in hot areas where instead of carpet, which is kind of oppressive a bit, you always have like cool tiles on the floor. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. Okay, we'll paint. Look at this. Look at this. We're painting. And it's not leaking through. That's even better. Makes us happy. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's get this going. Just just enough to see. Stuffs. Oh my god, did I... I... <laughs> okay, that wall is slightly more angled than I thought. So this is interesting. You can have angled walls. I didn't even intend to make that angled, but it is. Look at that. Tiles are seamless. And it's like not even complaining at me. It's like, no. We're not going to tell Catherine she did not make a perfectly rectangular place. No, no. We'll, we'll just let her think. We'll let her think. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Okay. So we do have... Oh, we have, we have sorting here. But the sorting I found does not actually work at the moment. Um, but it's kind of cool. There are different... Uh, these are sorting mostly, I think, for furniture because... I, unless you have weight training room specific tiles, I don't know. But I don't know how extensive this game is going to be. Whether you could like categorize stuff on your own or if it's just going to be categorized. I don't know. We have stairs. We could put a stairway like, I don't know, here-ish. Because we do have the ability to have multiple floors. Now there's a little bit of inconsistency here because you can place stuff with click some things and then other things you cannot place with click. So, uh, how do I, how do I unclick this? Yo, yo, how do I, er, oh dear. All right, can I just click something else, furniture? Hey, there we go, <laughs> off the cursor. Yeah, this is a little bit, um, they're gonna be like, oh geez, what if somebody falls in that gap? <laughs> Can't be doing this, jeez. Anyway, let's fill up our little hotel room with, oh wait, there's doors as well. Though the doors I found are a little bit weird at the moment. They seem to just be like, if I can make one. Oh no, simple wall. Let's do door. Hello, door. Aha! But it doesn't seem to have any ability to close the door at the moment. But we can do something. Let's see if we can do a window or two. Okay, but I'm hoping later we're going to get like window, like proper windows with gloss and window treatments as well. So let's go to the furniture now. And this is cool. This, um, this is like a hot tub. Now you can rotate things with uh, control and spinny spinny mouse wheel, which is great. Let's put this here in this nice little out. Oh, okay. This is the part that's confusing. You have to press enter at the moment for this, but I am, I assume this is all gonna get better later. And uh, yeah, we now have this little, little hot tub. So yeah, good stuff. And I wanna put like some plants next to it. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is great. Okay, let's just cover up that wall that refuses to be painted. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's nice. Hey, cool stuff. Oh, we have a bed too. Let's get the bed. Oh, nice. Okay, good, good. Oh, put that there. Oh, no. Okay, clicking doesn't work. Remember, remember, clicking does not work. There we go. Enter. And it's fine. Oh, we have an arch. Oh, check this. Okay, so we have this kind of an arch, maybe for short walls, and we also have a square arch. That's quite pretty, actually. I like that. All right, so let's just glue this one on. Boom. And done. And where are the little plants I wanted for this? Is this good? Oh, that's too tiny. No, no. That's way, no, way too small. I need bigger, bigger plants. Hello. That's still miniaturized plants. We'll go through this and like look more at stuff. Oh, there's kind of a little tiny ficus tree thing. I want some like, oh, that's a bit big because it's got, oh, face. Oh, that's better. That's better. Do we get even better? Hello. Oh. Aha! That's fun. Okay, so we've got a couple of different plants here that we can put just to make this a little bit more cozy and fun. Uh, let's, you can also rotate stuff by 45 degree angles. So here we want them to be different rotations because it looks weird if they're all the same um, rotation. And out here, oh wait, we have, we have a table. It's like a coffee table, like for watching 
uh, TV in front of oops, the click thing. Yep. Let's put this here maybe and maybe see if we can find a sofa for these people to relax. Ah, here we go. So the, here we have the 45 degree rotation you can see really easily. Yay. Or you can just do it as tiny, tiny, tiny little angles. Like you could have it any way you wanted. You could do this, which would drive people really nuts. I think <laughs> a lot of people, <laughs> they get quite hung up on their, on the angles there. Um, but that's okay. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has their different things. All right, let's chuck that one down. I assume that there's a way to color stuff later uh, because in the videos we did see some different colored items, um, like chairs being different colors. I know there's a couple in here, like this chair and this chair are identical but they are different colors let's get some um oopsies, not that, not that i want this oh maybe we should do lighter since we got this yeah we need a place to like sun <clears throat> when the sun is on the other side of the place <laughs> now now is not a good time for sun go go on the other side of the building it'll be fine i really want some windows here or something can we can we do that let's see let's see how flexible we have because right now flexible is not a thing Oh my god, this is... Oh, look at this! Oh, and the light streaming through. Oh, wow. This bed is very badly positioned here. There we go. Let's have it centered, because this kind of thing is, like, really... could be quite decorative, and we could have lamps. Oh my god, those kinds of lamps. I'm so tired of them. I feel like it's, like, way from the... the old days. Uh, but there are probably more lamps. Uh, well, wow, we have also some like basic stuff like trash cans. Sure, we'll chuck it, chuck it on this side. How oh, sounds better? Don't want it near the guests. We have poker tables here, uh, or other cards. Could be blackjack. We're playing. What else have we got? We've got chairs. Oh, look at this. This chair has a completely different um, sheen to it. Like it's made out of leather instead. That's quite cool. All right, we'll put this like slightly sideways here so we can have like people in a group chatting and having fun. Okay, here's another leather chair. This is great. Now we're just having fun, by the way. Uh, so you don't have to worry about too much alignment. We have other giganto sofas. Hey. Oh, sofas through the sofas. Nice. <laughs> I assume that's not going to be a thing later, but you never can tell. Um, we have, wow, we have the cooking kitchen thing. Um, let's see. We have, oh, sinks. That's good. It's useful for bathroom. Yep. We can chuck that right over there. And then we'll have, oh, wow. We can have a whole bar. This is, oh, that's quite nice. You can, you don't even have to put all the stools down because it's already there. It's a nice little object. And then outside we can have stuff too. Of course, this is like, you know, I'm decorating this like a seaside place, but you can decorate it for other stuffs. Um, what else do we have in here? Looks like a... Oh, a vending machine, perhaps. Nice. I do love the art style. It's kind of chunky, kind of nice. Here's our registration desk. Let's look at the other side. Ah, nothing on the computer. I am amused that this is a CRT. So this kind of gives me, like, pause to think. Like, we're not in the modern times. We're kind of like before. Like, maybe 90s or something. Uh, or 80s. So... Yeah, good stuff here. Can we put this on the table? No, not yet. Okay, I assume we can later because it's a very tiny plant to put on the floor. But it's still very lovely and very well designed. I like them. I really like the art style of this game so far. Uh, what else have we got? We've got this stuff. We have other plants. Uh, yep, yeah, little fern tree thingy majingies. Ah, yes, tight, uh, high bar stools. More bar stools. Good, good. Yes, and slot machines. Okay, so this will be like a little suite here where they have their own private slot machine. Another color of slot machines. Not probably great to put them right next to the bed. They could be a little bit noisy, but you never can tell. Sort of a kitchen prep place. What else have we got here? Oh, a dumpster. Hey, that's great. So that, that but this thing, like, I don't know if this is just decorative or does this mean, hey, you know, we need employees to take care of trash and that's going to be a thing and we're going to need people to clean these rooms every day. Um, so it kind of gives me hope that there's like more cool stuff coming. It looks like a lot of the plants are um, sort of like tropical oriented, but I'm guessing we will see some uh, different types of like trees and stuff to go with these uh, biomes. 
Like, I would expect, you know, some other, like, flower arrangements or something like that. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, um, I just lost my thought. <laughs> we had, oh, we had the tennis court, I think, up here somewhere. Was it up here? We have exercise machines. Nice treadmill, okay. Um, where did that tennis court go? I thought it was here, so, anyway, it, it is here, so, there it is, there it is, there it is. We found it, yay! Okay, so we can just like chuck a tennis court in here and people can play and have a nice time and enjoy themselves and like sun and all the things. This is quite cool. This is very, very cool. And of course we can go up and then we have the opportunity to build another floor. It doesn't show the stairs sticking through right now, but I assume that's something that's gonna come later uh, so that you don't actually build over stuff. I guess we'll have to do another angled <coughs> situation here. Why is this not um, clicking? Does it work there? Oh, uh, let's turn off the furniture and just do the build mode. Maybe that'll work. It's a little bit not quite <laughs> working the way one would expect it to. Oopsies. I think I clicked on a furniture piece, so it uh, grabbed the wrong thing there from me. Oh, that's interesting. Oh no, it doesn't like this anymore. Oh no! Oh no! Let's see, does this work? Yeah, that works. Okay, so it does not like this section of wall for whatever reason. Oh! You know why? Because probably the stairs are there. That's probably exactly why, is the stairs are right there. Okay, so I'm being a bad girl. I'm like, just leaving this space open. So when the stairs, I don't know how the stairs are going to interact. We'll find out later, I'm sure. But you can make second floors. You can do all kinds of cool stuff already. We can do some curves, like do some, I don't know, funky stuff here. Yeah, inside curve. Why not? Boom, right there. And have balconies and things like that. Very cool. Oh, and I wanted to show you one more thing. That there's actually animations already in some stuff. Isn't this great? Oh, I can imagine my little sim people just like hanging out in the hot tub, like hot tub. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woohoo. This is great. So anyway, thank you very much to uh, Crytivo for uh, allowing me access to this demo. It's been a lot of fun just checking it out. And remember to check out the Kickstarter if you're interested. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.